This video will show you step-by-step -step how to set up and use your hyperchiller. After taking the product out of the box, detach the parts from each other. The stainless steel cups actually nest one inside the next and all of them twist off of the lid. Wash each of the parts before using it. It is dishwasher safe. For the initial assembly, start by filling the small stainless steel cup with water to the indent on the side and then twist that to the lid. For the large stainless steel cup, fill it to the indent as well, but empty the water into the plastic hyperchiller cup. Then twist the empty, larger stainless steel cup onto the lid over the smaller one. And finally, twist that assembly onto the hyperchiller cup. Then put the product upright in the freezer. Depending on water and freezer temp, this initial freeze can take up to 12 hours to freeze solid. The hyperchiller was designed to fit directly under the brew spout of most full-size single cup brewers. If it doesn't, don't try to angle it in or support it on an uneven surface. Just brew into a vessel with a pour spout and use that to pour coffee into the hyperchiller. Using a traditional brewing method, carefully pour from your carafe into the recessed area of the lid. Once the coffee is inside, it will immediately begin to cool off. For this demo, I'm going to show you the proof behind our claim of being able to make great iced coffee at home in as little as one minute. I selected the medium sized brew, which is 8 ounces, and it comes out of this machine at a steaming 185 degrees. All right, sounds like it just finished up. Let's start the clock. In the instructions, you'll notice the times vary based on the brew size as well as if the product is being swirled or left stationary. I recommend swirling for optimal results. It keeps the coffee moving inside so you can get your chilled drink a little bit faster. Those parts that we filled with water earlier, they're now frozen solid. So inside the product, there's two layers of ice cold stainless steel that are transferring all that heat out of the coffee without letting any dilution in. Let's figure out how much money you can save by using this at home. Your average iced coffee costs $3.50 out and maybe 50 cents at home. You're saving $20 a week. Over the course of a year, it's over $1,000 saved. So the hyperchiller pretty much pays for itself. Looks like we've got about six seconds left here on the clock. So I've got my thermometer ready. We'll see what the results are. Hundred and eighty-five degrees down to forty-eight. So we're looking at 137-ish degrees cooler in just 60 seconds. At that point, it's cold enough to pour into your regular glass over ice and it'll still be strong. If you prefer it ice cold without any ice, just swirl it around a bit longer before you pour it out. For larger brew sizes, time will need to be extended as well, as noted in the instruction booklet. For regular rinsing, just pour fresh water through the lid like you did with coffee. Give it a swirl and pour it back out. There's no need to take anything apart until you're ready to do a deep clean. You can even use the hyperchiller two times before it needs to be refrozen. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us or visit the Frequently Asked Questions page at hyperchiller.com.